more ironic than Pink Comic Sans. Hey, I'm sick, so I'm sorry if I mess anything up. But anyways, I'm Thy Kusk, and you saw my cringy intro. And yeah, let's just get right into the video. Um, basically, I'm sorry if I read off notes, I am sick. And I wrote the notes when I was sick. So this is going to be a fun video, am I right? I'm going to be totally out of it. But hey, it's whatever, dude, okay? Anyways, I'm going to be talking about music that influenced my music taste. Because people saw my music review and said, hey, you should make more of these. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll try. And I know that that was like two people, but you know what, that is a lot of people to me. So I was like, hey, why not actually just talk about what started my music taste and where, like what really started, you know, my love for music, I guess. And stuff that just changes my music taste and things that open my mind and all that fun jazz. I am making a list of it and it's really long of albums that just shaped me and yeah let's just get on to it um basically I want to start off with something more obscure um I asked like four people that are really into music and they all said Sam I don't know this album <laughs> and you know what all my friends don't either and some of these people are my friends some of these people I only talk to once in my life and they don't know about this album. It is from my home state, um, from the middle of the state. It, this band is from Worcester, Massachusetts. And basically it's just really interesting, I guess? I don't know. It is an album that falls in between the lines of MGMT, Glass Animals, and Alt-J to, you know, Best Coast and kind of has that Massachusetts vibe that Puppy Problems and the Justin Arena Project have. It's just all, it's like kind of just a like mixture of all those bands in my opinion. Especially Puppy Problems and Best Coast. Along with Alt-J. Like if I had to really explain it. That's how, what I think about the album. And like, you know, it's just like a mixture of that. And you know what? Let's talk about it. Um, basically, as you know, I'm not talking about, um, you know, the Naked and Famous, who is in, who I also discovered through iTunes free singles, or Cage the Elephant, who I discovered through iTunes free singles, or um, Group Love, who I also um, found through iTunes free singles. It is not about any of those bands. It is about Dom, who I found through iTunes free singles and that's gonna be a theme throughout this whole video is that I found most of these people when I was 11 or 12 through iTunes free singles um basically this album came out in 2010 to 2011 there were two releases of it and obviously I'm talking about the album Sun Bronze Greek Gods by Dom and this album is pretty sick when you open it up because this is what you open it up to. And yeah, it's lit. Um, but anyways, like I said, this album is pretty obscure. Found it through iTunes free singles. And it didn't have, this band didn't have much of a blow up as Group Love, as The Naked and Famous, as, um, the Cage of the Elephant, they actually broke up, I think. They probably did, like, looking at them. And some of these bands I'm going to mention the series and albums and music videos and um, EPs, they're not going to be existent anymore, but I'm going to still talk about them. And honestly, nobody really knows about Dom from my social circle, so I felt like this would be a perfect album to throw out there. Since I think Living in America was the first um, really indie pop single I got into. So yeah, this is the album that started it all. <laughs> it's seven songs, 19 minutes long, and it is a very nice, smooth um, ass acid trip along with a nice raw sound, I guess. A raw sounding acid trip. I think that's how I'd explain it. It is interesting. 
Um, basically, um, from what I know about Dom, based off of Spotify, which I've read, um, I knew that, you know, they're from Worcester, Massachusetts. I didn't know they're from Worcester, but I knew they were a Massachusetts band. The lead singer is very um, uh, private about his life because of illegal doings. And basically, Bo Chicha is about his illegal cat when he was a child, um, which is interesting. Uh, the thing is, I did talk to one of the members of Dom when I was 12, because I was an innocent little 12 year old, and I'm like, hey, what's up with your band? And is your band name Dom? Do you pronounce it Dom? And I annoyed the shit out of them. Yeah. Fun story, true story. I wish I had the proof. But, anyways. And also, I don't really know what else to add. That's all what I really know about Dom. So, well also, after, their in, after the indie music break, Dom turned into a DJ. Or the band turned into a DJ. I'm not sure, someone under that turned what Dom was into a DJ group. Or a DJ, I'm not sure. I don't know if that still exists. Please tell me if it does or not. But anyways, you know, it went from indie alternative pop music to DJing. That's all that I really know. And I don't really know if I should really do a in-depth analysis to this album, but honestly the transitions are smooth. They're not fully a do smooth, but they're smooth when I listen to it. Um, they have some pretty good key and synth lines in there, especially with Burn Bridges, which is my favorite single off of it. And let's see. Also, well, yeah, I think, yeah, the lead singles have the legitimate, like, key and synth lines, which are Living in America and Burn Bridges. Um, I think I relate to Burn Bridges right now, to be honest, because it's just like, make yourself an island and just forget her. I think that's what the lyrics are. It's not, it's really about a breakup, but I just want to burn bridges. And kind of chill for a little bit, you know? Sometimes you gotta disconnect. And that's what I'm feeling from it when I'm 18. <laughs> so, yeah, honestly, the keys in Burn Bridges remind me of Golden State by Joy Wave at the moment. I haven't, I didn't know Joy Wave when I found this album. So, there you have it. But I found Joy Wave later on, I think, and you know, Golden State is my favorite song, and now I know why. Because it reminds me of Burn Bridges, like, the the key lines. I'm not, obviously they're not too similar, but they're kind, they kind of just remind me of each other. I don't know why. But you know what? I don't know if you see it either. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what else to say about this album, to be honest, because I'm sick and I'm tired. It's just this nice chill fest that is obscure in, like, ma the Massachusetts music scene. Excuse me. But that's basically what it is. It is just a chill little indie pop album, you know, that is just hidden away and it's just interesting. It was on free iTunes. It The band had this mysterious... Um, like, you know, aura to them in the first place, and, um, they had an EP after this called Family of Love, and they invited this person named Emma to join them in one of the songs called Some Boys, which is very Best Coast-esque, not just because they have a female singer, it's because the lyrics are also pretty similar, you know, it's talking about, you know, love and, like, superficialness of that kind of stuff, you know, like, I don't even know. It's a very weird song. Everything's weird to me, so there you have it. I only like weird things. And you know, I did enjoy Family of Love. If you want me to review that, then I will, but honestly, I'm gonna talk about this album, <laughs> which honestly, the singles do stick out, but the rest of the songs do too. I didn't really hear Bo Chicho when I was younger, and honestly, that sound song seems like such a bop to me now. It is about an illegal cat, so now I have a new appreciation for it. Like, when I re-listen to Melophobia, I'm gonna make a review on that, so I should not give out the songs that I did enjoy way later on in this video. But, basically, 
yeah, I found a new, like, you know, and like appreciation for these songs, you know, even with, uh, let's see what else, Jesus, the opener. I didn't, that song never really caught on with me when I was younger, but now it does. So, yeah, and also the ending song, especially because now I'm older and it kind of hits like the I wonder kind of situation. If it's with relationships, my life in general, you know, basically does have a feely sense to it. But honestly, um, I think that's just, you know, my emotions getting in the way. Obviously, I do enjoy how smooth this album sounds. Is it anything extraordinary? Not exactly, but it is not really groundbreaking. It's not a fully ado, but it is pretty good. So, and it's good in my opinion still. Not just my 11, 12 year old me opinion. And you know what? I'm pretty happy I have a physical copy of it. And I found it in a Newberry Comics. And I didn't know I'd find this. It was just a random find. It was used. It was just thrown there. And I was just like, hell yeah, I'm buying this. This seems like the most randomest find on the planet. And it's just so nostalgic. So I was like, hey, you know, nostalgia, man. And honestly, I didn't even know these existed. So is there a vinyl copy of it? I don't know. I was not into vinyl when I bought this, but <laughs> yeah. I guess those are kind of my tired thoughts on Sun Bronze Greek Gods by Dom. Um, maybe my other reviews, if you want me to do more, will be a little more insightful. I'm not sure. This is just a weird little party album, but it's not like a party album as in like trap music. It's like a party album as in like MGMT and glass animals like it, it does have a deep side to it that is like even like a little bit deep it there's a little bit of depth you know there's storytelling there's other things to offer than just a beat okay it is like one of those kinds of albums you know it's kind of like how to be a human being but older and more raw and more indie and less glass animals like um so there you have it and also more shorter than How to Be a Human Being, which did actually shape my music taste, and I did find Glass Animals through iTunes Free Singles. Yeah, Gooey was one of them. All right, th there you have it. iTunes Free Singles shaped my music taste. Anyways, if you want more of these, comment down below. Um, if you enjoyed this, I don't know, man. I hope you did. Also, I'm sorry that I'm sick, so I couldn't really function enough to really you know, throw good content at you. Like I said, I'm taking a break, a break this week because I'm sick, so I'm sorry about that. You're gonna get up re-uploads on Thursday. Anyways, have a nice day. Peace out. Tell me in the comments about your day and if I should continue doing this when I'm well. <laughs>